No, no, relax, Davis. The unexpected encounter that occurred during a recent event, which reportedly saw Davis run up to confront Floyd Mayweather face to face, has sparked a lot of speculation and interest within the boxing community. However, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the pay per view figures for the Tank versus Frank Martin bout that took place last month. Renowned boxing journalist Dan Raphael reveals in a recent report that the event brought in between 325k and 350k pay per view purchases across all available platform forms. The bet would hardly generate 200k pay per view sales. According to boxing matchmaker and promoter Rick Glazer, but here's the twist in a Mill City boxing interview. Tank Davis head coach Calvin Ford disputed these statistics. Although accurate pay-per-view sales figures typically take a few weeks to confirm, the timing of Raphael's report's publication seemed perfect. Nevertheless, during an interview with Ford, a reporter from Mill City Boxing asked about the online line figures, which the Baltimore coach dismissed as false. According to Raphael's report, the Martin fight which was once heralded as the second largest in sales, is now shrouded in uncertainty. Ford responded, that's not true, and even when pressed about whether the numbers were close to accurate, he refused to comment, saying, that number isn't correct. At $74.95 per pay-per-view, Davis's sixth title defense brought in almost $26 million. However, Calvin Ford has refuted these reports, leaving supporters in suspense while they wait for the real numbers. Following Dan Raffel's update, Rick Glazer had already voiced his displeasure of Raffel's reports. Glazer took to X to share his thoughts on the figures, writing, This is hilarious. It didn't even reach 150k buys. It seems that a boxing pundit has offered some clarification among the misunderstanding regarding the PBC propaganda that is being spread to the media by PBC operators like Leonard Ellerby and Tank Davis. Glazer has constantly criticized PBC and Alhian. At one point, he even implied that PBC was about to fail after claiming that Davis's fight only received 150k pay-per-view purchases. Showbiz the adult, a YouTuber and boxing analyst, took DX to share his thoughts on the matter. He wrote, Remember that the 150k pub buys was reported only two days after the tank fight. The pub numbers aren't tallied that fast. They typically take 10 days to tally, and you don't have to believe me or Dan Raphael. Provide the figures. Dan works for ESPN. Amid the deluge of contradictory reports from many sources, business is a war room and Glazer despises PBC. Though it has become more difficult to discern the truth, Calvin Ford is adamant that the current statistics lack merit. Meanwhile, Shakur Stevenson asserts that the best comparison between himself and Gerant is his fight this Saturday night against Artem Hareton, which took place on June 15 in which Tank defeated Frank Martin via eighth-round knockout. The fight was intensely competitive until the very end, when Martin prevailed by unanimous decision after 12 rounds on July 15, 2023. Shakur might be hoping for good news when he thinks that supporters will measure Tank by his fight against Herat Tunin boxing fans, who watched Martin vs. Heronian have already formed opinions about Shakur. They think this is a bad matchup, especially since Artem is coming off a loss to the same fighter tank that was recently eliminated in the eighth round. Shucker's only chance to garner supporters is if he can show courage by staying in the fight and defeating Hernandez. Any other result will be seen as a loss for a man whose popularity is quickly dwindling. I think it's a great measuring stick, said Shucker Stevenson because Martin and Herat Tunin fought each other, and we saw that they were on the same level. Stevenson added, I think we're fighting the same level of opposition, damn near. 
Shukker believes that the Artem Hero opponent he faces on Saturday night is on the same level as the previous challenger that Din Davis faced. Martin, it is deceptive to compare Shakur to Tank Davis and use him as a benchmark, especially in light of Heronian's most recent defeat by Martin. Shakur's ability to win over his followers is compromised when he plays opponents of this caliber. Now that you can judge our performances and get the fans a little bit excited, Shakur ought to have thought about giving Edwin de los Santos another chance. This would have shown his supporters that he could compete with the best of them, especially when he was healthy. Shakur is trying to make a good story out of his decision to take on Herat Tunin, who recently lost to Frank Martin. When asked what he hopes to show fans in his fight against the recently defeated 33-year-old Heronian on Saturday, Shakur replied, I don't put out consistent nights where I'm shining and looking good, and one night I have a bad night and everybody is stuck on that regretfully. Fans have already criticized Shakur's decision to take on Herat Tunin, saying that the only way he can win is by completely eliminating him on Saturday night. Shakur's chances of pulling off such a feat are practically zero because he consistently fights cautiously and avoids standing his ground to unleash his punches, even against opponents like Heronian who aren't known for their punching power. Fans hardly ever bring up Shakur's past fights, which were not very exciting to watch in his clash against Yilal Santos. Shakur had previously participated in lackluster fights, including one with Edwin de los Santos. Although it's admirable for supporters who value defensive skill that Shakur used his signature pullback technique to reduce the amount of times he was struck, it lacked excitement. There aren't enough fans of Shakur's particular kind to make him a must-see star. But if you could send Shakur back in time to the Mayweather era in the early 2000s, Floyd's fans would respect his fighting style. Shakur hasn't changed his fighting style since his amateur days, and he still fights in a way that deviates from what fans are used to seeing in professional boxing. Shakur stands out as unconventional in the pro ranks appealing to that particular type of fan. Though rumors about what transpires during sparring sessions are supposed to remain confidential, fans' preferences for Shakur's retro look aren't going to change, nor does he fit in this era. The training camp activities are meant to be kept private, especially when it comes to the sparring sessions. Information about the fighter's development the number of rounds they finished, and the coach's specific instructions are kept private. Therefore, it is inappropriate to discuss any knockdowns or victories that occur in private. However, when tensions between fighters rise, as was the case with Devin Haney and Devin Davis recently, covered footage frequently surfaces to fuel the animosity. Recently, news highlighted another incident involving Davis during a gym session. The fighter who was scheduled to face the Baltimore native recounted a story where Twist was sparring with a well-known boxer. The fighter's identity was kept secret to avoid embarrassment, although some believe it was Floyd Mayweather. The fighter said, man I was about to spar tank, he was sparring this big boy tank, hit him so hard he was just on the ropes like this, I thought he died be happening best, not get in there with me, that's it after Parton Davis repeatedly and publicly criticized Floyd Mayweather, believing he had exceeded Mayweather in terms of accomplishments. He even went so far as to publicly refer to Mayweather's protege, Colonel Moten, as a fraud. Later, Davis forbade Moden from competing on the undercard of Mayweather's bout with Frank Martin. Currently, Moden has addressed whether he harbors any animosity toward Tank. In response to Tank Moten's seemingly favoritism of Floyd Mayweather over Davis during a lighthearted banter between the two, Davis decided to pull Moten's fight from the June 15th undercard fight hype. Moten had previously asked Davis about his beef with him before his fight on the undercard of Nate Diaz versus Porch Mass Seidel Sakun.